Hi everyone, thank you for watching my channel NYC Foodie. My name is Carrie Chan. Today I'm going to introduce you a new food. It's very easy, you can find them in a Chinese supermarket. It's called Self Cooking Hot Pot Kit. Um, so this hot pot kit is made by a restaurant chain in China. Uh, we call it Hai Li Lao and then the logo is uh, HI, like a Hai. Okay, so it's a very big restaurant chain. It has over 500 restaurants, um, mainly in China, but they also have in Japan, Korea, uh, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. So I personally went to um, two restaurants, one of them in Shanghai, the other one in Taipei, also another one in New York. Um, it's a very nice experience. I wouldn't say the food are extraordinary, but their service are definitely amazing. So. I'm sure everybody has to eat in a Chinese restaurant before. So what we usually say is they don't provide much service as the American restaurant. But you will find a totally different experience here. So if you go there with your hair down, they will pass you a rubber band as you would you like to tie up your hair. And if you look like you're very cold, they'll ask you, do you want a blanket? So stuff like that just make you feel very warm and welcoming. Okay, so once again, that's their logo. It's an HI. So remember this logo if you're going to the supermarket, make sure you get a kit like this. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, so right here, we got a utensil pack. Okay, and we got a vegetable pack. So the vegetable pack contains lotus root, sliced potato, kelp, black wood ear, and bamboo shoots. All right. And we got a rice noodle pack. So this rice noodle is the very thin one and the one that's transparent and the one that's very easy to cook. We got another vegetable pack. So this one has more sliced potato and corns. And right here we have our chili oil pack. So yes, this food is spicy. If you don't like spicy food, I'll show you something different next time. But for people like spicy, yes, get this one. It's really good. Okay. Right now it's the magic stuff. This is a stuff heating pack. Okay, so we're going to open this up and place it into this big black box like this okay right okay, and let's put this aside first and then we're going to use this little white thing as your bowl so you'll be eating from here right first we add our chili oil okay okay make sure you squeeze the oil down before you cut it because Otherwise, you get all the residuals on your scissor. Okay. Okay. I like to put the oil down first just because it's not messy. And then also, you get all the taste from the bottom to the top of your bowl. Okay. And still a little more. For the hot pot, I like the oil that says clear oil. So basically, um, for Chinese spicy hot pot, it comes with the front oil type. Usually they use cow's fat. The cow's fat are really thick. Um, it's really potent. Like if you like something like that, it's perfect. But for me, I think that's too fulfilling. If I use the cow fat soup base, I wouldn't eat like much food. So I really like the one that says clear oil. Okay. This is a vegetable, let's open it up. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how the how the oil looks like. So it has a little black beans in there and then chili powder. I think some other stuff that I don't know what that is. Okay, so it smells great. Okay, so this one is the one I mentioned that has sliced potatoes in there and some corns. Alright. And let's open the rice noodle pack. So rice noodle, the carbs, 
it's one of the must that you have to eat in Hapa. Um, if I go to a restaurant, I wouldn't choose a rice noodle like this. I like something that's more chewy, like handmade noodle. But for instant hot pot, I guess this one is the easiest one to cook. So, I mean, it's not bad. And here is basically the roots of the lotus flower. And then we have cow, so you can call it seaweed. And then we also have some bamboo shoots. So it's very nice hot pot uh, ingredients. So because of the import reason that they cannot import any meat into the States, so that's why they only have vegetarian version. But if you're a meat lover, it's okay. You can buy a box of Spam or some cooked hot dog or cooked shrimp, dump it all in, and then you will cook it at the same time. So I opened up the utensil pack as well. I don't know if you can see it here. We have a spoon and we have a very cute chopstick, a pair of chopstick. And we have two straws. Well, I would assume you can drink the soup from this and then a toothpick for your convenience. All right, so let's start cooking. So remember this black box that has the self-heating pouch in there. So we're just going to play on a flat surface, make sure it's stable, that's heat resistant, right? So you're going to add cold water, do not add hot water, it will explode. So add cold water right above, just, just as it covers the pouch, right? Right above this line, there is a line here, okay? So you won't miss it. And then we're going to add more water into our bowl. There is also a line that shows you here. So basically fill the water up to the line. Okay, perfect. Then you pick up this white bowl like this and then drop it inside to the big one. All right, it start cooking already. Then we're going to Okay, it's this way. Then we're going to cover it up. Okay. Make sure it's tight, it's sealed, and there is a little hole to vent the air. Okay, so let the magic happen. We're just going to wait while it's cooking. Alright, so five minutes has passed. As you can see, the steam is coming out. Right? And then you can hear it's bubbling. If you touch it, it's really, really hot. So be careful. So we got another 10 minutes to go before it's ready. Okay, so uh, right now it's 10 minutes has passed. You see the steam gets much, much bigger and it's getting extremely hot. So another five more minutes, we'll be able to open it and show you your self-heating hot pot. Okay, so the hot pot is ready and here we have June. Hello, my name is June. I'm, I'm Kelly Chen's friend. Uh, today we have two hot pots, so I'm so excited to try. Okay, let's try to open it. So when you open it, you have to be really careful the steam. So once you open, you have to leave your hands once the steam comes out. Okay. Ooh, it looks so good. Can you show me? Okay. Everything is perfectly cooked. I'm so excited to try. Okay. Let's see which one we should eat first. Okay. So I'm going to try a lotus root first. It's the one that looks like this. So. Mm. So this one is really crunchy. Sometimes you get a lotus root that tastes like a potato. That's because it's really starchy. Some people like it, but I don't like it. I like the one that's really crunchy and clean. This, this is a uh, bamboo. Mm. It's also very crunchy. 
Yeah, so today we forgot to prepare and sell meat, otherwise we could add like spam or hot dog in there like I mentioned it before. Will be um so you will have more variety. Also don't forget about fish ball. And here we have a cow. Yep. So you will sometimes eat cow in a ramen, but this is a spicy version, so I love this one better. Tomato. Remember we have this little straw, I really don't know if that's for the soup, I'm just going to try it. But if you know what's this for, then let me know. Yeah, you can, but I mean, I just had a sip of the soup, it's pretty good. Oh, I think I know why, because there are so much hot oil in there, so the straw can actually go to where the soup is so you don't have to drink the oil so if you will use the spoon then you're basically drinking the oil so you have to use the straw and dip it all the way down and then drink the soup So my only complaint for this kid is the chopstick is too short. It's really short. And also I forgot to mention before this kit, it's about $10 that you can find in most of the supermarket in New York City, especially in Flushing. And so for $10, you get to enjoy a meal like this. It's very decent. Usually when Chinese people go to um, Hapa place, we order a drink that looks like this. This is called Wang Lao Ji. It's originated from Canton. It's basically a, a herbal tea, sweet herbal tea. a little cube of corn that's soaked with hot oil. I do think that they use some sort of salt to um to marinate the vegetable and before they um sealing it. So the, the, the corn itself tastes a little salty. Also just be you know, <clears throat> very careful that you will see something like this in the soup. Do not try to eat it. You can try. This will really numb your tongue and give you a numbing sensation. This is called Chinese peppercorn. So um, it's very famous in Su Sichuan cuisine, especially in hot pot. So just try to avoid it or you can pick them out. But it's a lot of them, so just try to avoid them. Okay, so we have both finish our bowl. Yep, so not much left. That's it. So which one is your favorite? Mm, my favorite one and should be the bamboo. The bamboo mm -hmm. is I like yeah. the most lotus root.
Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all really good, and then you don't taste the vegetable that's as some if in an instant noodle that's really flaky or out of water, dehydrated. These taste like the fresh vegetable, I don't know, for whatever reason, right? right. It's yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this is the food that we show you today. Hope you can find it in a Chinese supermarket, or if you like to go to a hot pot store, don't forget that you can always pack away the soup base, which means you can go home and cook yourself another hot pot, just buy some vegetable. You know, you don't have to always get this. But if you want to go on a road trip in a hotel, this is definitely the thing to get. So you can have a hot pot at, at, like in the middle of nowhere while there's no Chinese food or anything Asian food, then you can <coughs> satisfy yourself with a hot pot. Right, so I think we're all done, mm -hmm. and thank you for watching. Thank Bye. You.